All right, here we are, back with this uh, 88 Ford F-350 with the no-start complaint. And what I want to show you is this right here is a starter solenoid. This wire I have hooked up to my meter lead goes to this pin right here. Now what this does, when you turn the key to the start position, sends power down to a neutral safety switch that's on the transmission, makes contact between the neutral safety switch as long as it's in the right position, sends 12 volts back up to this pin, which is at a very low amperage. It's just a control voltage. This, when is energized, closes this solenoid, which then sends 12 volts between these two down to your starter, which is a high amperage. And what you need to find out if it don't start. Now, I, I'm not going to do this because I just filled the transmission. If I take a jumper wire from the battery positive and touch it on here, it'll turn the motor over. If you turn the key on, the motor will start. So, I'm losing my signal, and to make sure of that, I'm going to do some testing. Now, what I have, this is the wire that comes up from the neutral safety switch. My meter's on it. The other side of my meter is the ground. That's just a jumper because my meter lead wouldn't reach. And where the hell is that meter lead? It's right here. Here's the other side of my meter lead connected to that jumper. Now we'll go in the cab. I get the meter set up against the windshield. So hopefully we can see it good. And by the way, this thing has 83,000 miles on it. This is a new motor and a newer transmission. See that meter there? Yes, you can. Hopefully you can hear this. Can you hear the key switch going? I'm going to go to the start position right now. You got nothing. Nothing at all. Back off. Try it one more time. Nothing. So, we have a problem either with the neutral safety switch or the wiring coming from the neutral safety switch up to here. I don't think it's a neutral safety switch because it looks new, but we're going to test it. I'll be back with you when I get everything situated under there. See what's going See. on here with this neutral safety switch. Hold on, it's going to get bumpy. This may show up inverted. I'll try fixing it when I uh, edit this. That's a neutral safety switch. That's the harness and the plug coming off the neutral safety switch. This is the other side of that plug. Now, let's see if you can see here. I have the back side of that plug back probed with a T pin. I have the other side of my meter going up to a ground strap here on the frame. And what I'm going to look for is a 12 volt signal. Let's see if you can see this better down here. See all that? See the T pin? There's my jumper. And that is going to be the wiring harness that comes down from the key switch. So I'm going to see if I have 12 volts when I turn the key to the start position. And what this does is it sends 12 vo volts through one wire to the neutral safety switch up here. Then that same 12 volts makes contact through that neutral safety switch, granted as long as it's in the right position, goes back up through the second wire that goes up to that ignition module, or ignition coil, I'm sorry. Starter, starter solenoid, not coil for Christ's sakes. Then uh, that's that, so let's see if we have 12 volts of control power. Can you see that? Yes. All right, the key's an accessory. And what that five volts is, I'm not 100% sure. I think that's a five volt reference signal. There's start, 11.99, 12 volts, 11.99 volts. So now we'll see if the voltage is actually going through the switch. And when I get that all set up, we'll get back under there together and see what we come up with. So, okay. Now, 
Shouldn't have light on this subject. I have the two connectors plugged together. And what I've done here is I've went on the complete other side of the plug. I'm on the side that goes to the neutral safety switch, but I'm on the opposite wire too. This opposite wire should be going back up to that solenoid. If I'm getting power through that switch, I will see it right here. So let's go try this. Damn it. By the way, there's no stinking door panel on this door, and I've hit my back on that son of a bitch about seven times. Yeah, my dad always said if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. So I'm A plus there. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, yeah, I can tell. It's going to be okay. You're going to lose a couple volts through the switch because they're contacts, and we'll see about starting. I'm going to start right now. Yep. So we got a broken wire in that harness going up to the starter solenoid. And I'm not going to show you how to run that wire, or put it in loom or anything like that. You don't need to know that. You just need to know that's how you figure it out. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a good day on what is an absolutely awesome day. And I'm stuck in this damn garage. All right, see you boys and girls. All right, here's the follow-up video of fixing a broken wire for the neutral safety switch. I actually didn't fix it. I completely replaced it. But here, see it's in park. Not a real smooth runner, but a runner. Shut her down. Click the key forward. Reverse. Let's see, you can see that. Works good. Neutral. And the indicator is a little slow. Cable needs greased. Neutral. Let's see if I can get both of them in the picture at the same time. Look at that. Drive, drive, everything works perfectly, and that's it, thanks, bye.